Durga Puja fever is on in Bengal and Durga Puja means creativity. Durga Puja means theme panels. Right now we are in Salt Lake FD block and Salt Lake is very near to Calcutta and you can see that Ma Durga has already come here and people have started coming in to see different theme pandals. Now theme is something which is always discussed in Bengal. As you can see right now the pandal where we are standing this is made up of dokra. Dokra is a is a is a is a work which is done in Bakura district by the by the people out there, by the tribals out there. So that dokra art beautifully that is uh, the, that is uh, brought in here, and the people for more than three to four months they stayed here, and they have made this beautiful pandal, which is which tells the story of dokra. You can see that the entire pandals, creativity, and everything. The, is made out of Jokra work and that is which makes Bengal Durga Puja very different and it is one of the biggest festival that Bengalis have and you can see that Ma Durga here is, is, is they have kept the traditional form of Ma Durga uh, um, uh, Mahishashur Mardini and and the fever is also on as you can see that people have already started coming in their pandal hoppers are already here we just like to ask one of them so you have started pandal hopping yeah, uh, today is I'm um, going out on panel hopping. So how is fast, the puja fast. fever you are feeling? It's very good. Kolkata, uh, Kolkata's puja is uh, no doubt is very good. So what are I the plans? I experience very, very nice. First so time. What are the plans for for five days? Uh, I'm not uh, sure, uh, but uh, I try. Have you come uh, from outside to see? Uh, or you are yeah. Kolkata. No, puja? no. I'm mean, hometown is Kolkata, but I'm uh, coming from Paris. Mm -hmm. So. This uh, year is uh, puja. So pandal hopping has started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we recently came from Paris. Mm -hmm. So we live there, but uh, particularly for Kolkata puja, we are here, and we are like in the night is very difficult. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, thought that we, uh, you know, enjoy the day. So it is that time when even if you are staying outside India, you come for Durga puja. Absolutely, absolutely. It's always uh, in a attraction for every Bengali all over the world. So we are no difference. So yeah, I mean, and this is a great place to be in this uh, time of the year. So it's not only that Ma Durga's homecoming. It's also people, the NRI's people who stay outside India, outside Calcutta. All of them they come back to their own city to experience the Durga Puja festival because this is something this time of the year is very different and full of festivities and everybody experiences, enjoys it in their own way. Durga Puja is all about Bengal's art, culture, creativity and we are right now standing in Tala Pruttai Pandal. You can see the creativity out here. The entire concept of the Pandal that what we are getting is the journey of an artist. You can see that it, this is totally made of copper and other metals and this is how Ma Durga has been kept in the Almira or a Sinduk if we say because she is our precious possession. Not only that here, the artist who is whose journey is shown, how an artist reaches to a, po to a point where he is considered to be a good artist, it, it requires a lot of hard work and that's what we are getting these steps, the staircases out there and this artist is going to stay here till the Visharjan time. So here this journey has been put beautifully together 
with creativity out here in this pandal so that is what is very much interesting about bengal's creativity we'll talk to the organizer shubho it's a very different concept what is it talabrata this time we are doing the kohon kolkata durga pujo is the world biggest public art festival the entire city turns to a public art gallery this is the time that we are asking the people those are very art enthusiastic not from the india only from the abroad also please come visit and see what exactly the scale of this world's biggest public art festival this year we are doing a kohon which is around 33000 square feet area and we are celebrating the journey of our artist shushanto paul what exactly the relation between a shushanto and durga what exactly the relation between the durga to the other people we are trying to portray these things only the entire structure made by the steel with the some different articles but this time we are over overwhelmed that the so many people started coming here not only from the year day, today or the yesterday from the day beginning that the preview show of durga puja art since 11th of october we are getting lot of more response not only from the uh, in uh, different part of india as well as from the abroad also people are coming to see the scale of tala pratya durga puja which is defining the scale of kolkata durga puja art about this almira you know that uh, artist travels and what is the significance of this almira actually this is the almira basically we used to keep all our precious products in the almira where where this durga is very precious to the artist shushanto and that's why shushanto keeping all of them in his own almira so that is what is interesting and that's what bengal durga puja is all about where it is just just as he said that bengal becomes a public art gallery and these are all the specimens of that where you can see how bengal artists bengal artisans potters puja organize or the organizers all together make up this wonderful durga puja mandap is this durga pandal is the artist will be staying here and he is staying here till dashami and this is his journey which is shown here and his relation with ma durga we have with us the artist himself shushanto pal uh, uh, tell me you know how did this idea came and how is that that you will be spending the four days with ma actually till last 25 years i am doing my art practice only in durga puja after passing government college of art and craft with masters in textile design i had a boutique that time and i also made ritu pandogos after one year after passing my one year and i did i associated with ritu pandogos for his film for 13 years yeah. but at the same time the durga puja ground the gali of kolkata is also open for me to experiment my art to explore my art to the public and i enjoyed most out of these three ways the boutique as a fashion designer the association of ritu pandogos is is a, is a beyond words what a get from him actually this puja is also a tribute to ritu da because without him i can express myself like this way so this is my 50th installation also this year so i am i am celebrating my journey and this is my tribute to kolkata durga puja art lovers as well as my gurus like ritu da my mother my father and um, why i am doing durga puja for last 25 years because of i have a, some attachment with durga durga is not a deity for me is a part of mine part of everyone i i i, I try to portray herself very close to human every year my 49 durga will be that only yeah, so you are staying in this your just just, just beside durga because Durga is part of my living also in last 25 years without without her maybe i am not uh, so that's why is a very emotional attachment very eternal attachment with durga so that's why when i started this installation i i planted two trees there one is radhachura one is krishnachura which is 
symbol of love and attachment. And I am telling here my attachment with that unknown, unreal Durga. So this is what is Bengal's Durga Puja all about. Creativity, the artistic, uh, you know, the creativity, the artist work. And this is something very different from any other festival where obviously Bengal showcases its art gallery to the world and here you see the artist himself is staying here and projecting his journey and that Ma Durga is within us and we are very close to Ma. festival of Bengalis, the biggest festival of creativity. There are certain Durga Pujas which still takes place in people's home. Some Zamindar house, some Rajbaris and some old traditional family still continue Durga Puja in their house. Right now we are in Bhavanipur De Bari where also it is the Ma Durga comes here and it's a traditional puja out there. You can see how Ma Durga is all decked up for the puja and the most interesting feature of this De Bari is that here you can see the Ashur that means the demon. He is a British personality. Now, uh, it's, it's a puja which dates back to almost more than 150 years and that point of time they used to consider that Ashur is, uh, at that point of time obviously India was not independent and that's why Ashur was actually a British person and that tradition continues. So this is a very interesting thing and here we have with us the, uh, the family members who can brief us on that. If you can brief us ki, uh, you know, what is this Durga Puja and how you all enjoy and what is this about this British Asura? Uh, uh, our ancestor uh, Mr. Ramlal De has started the, this Durga Puja in 1870. So at that time they are his wife got a message that uh, Ma Durga has come to our house uh, with, two sis uh, with two daughters and two children in our house. Uh, and then uh, she has moved, uh, entered our house and disappeared. Later on, uh, he got a Shopna Desh that uh, Ma Durga is belonging to our house and uh, to keep, uh, start uh, get getting the puja, starting the puja. At that time, the British uh, are ruling over all over India and to get rid of them, uh, our ancestor has started this Durga Puja and the Oshur has been treated as a foreigner. So t from, from that point of time till now till you now, all still? Yeah, till now we are maintaining the same tradition and we are trying to maintain it also uh, from the f in the future also. And this Ma the Durga is made here? Uh, Ma Durga is made here. The Kathamo which is there, you can see it is al also 154 years old. We used to, on Doshumi, we used to uh, get it on the Ganga, Adi Ganga and get rid of the, all the muds and something and then get it back to you, uh, to our home and for next year we are getting it prepared. So you can see the Bengal tradition, the Bengal heritage. This is also a story of Bengal's tradition and heritage from that more than 150 years. This puja is continuing with the same kathamo, that means the same structure, the wooden structure. Every year Ma goes and that point of time it, it is there in the Ganga, they pick that up and the here itself, the Thakur is made, Ma Durga is made. And the most interesting aspect during Durga puja is obviously how everyone offers puja and here we can see all the uh, all the women folk they are preparing special naru you know special me sweets in bengal that's called naru for the durga puja and all people who are also stays outside india outside bengal they come together and they do this work and enjoy we'll try to talk to them you know how is it you know to enjoy you're making the mishti and how is it uh, to uh, to be a part of this uh, big festival in a homely manner uh, this is amazing because this is my first time after i get married and i'm working with all the ladies and i'm uh, getting to learn how to make this beautiful uh, narus and this is chandrapuli as you can see they're all involved and i'm really loving it 
So, uh, you know, what is this heritage of, you know, the British Asura and how the women folk, they stay together, work together, cook together, enjoy together during this time? Okay, uh, I've been here for the past 12 years and it gives me immense joy during this season because all the family members, they come together, we gossip, we eat together, we make sweets and you know, we have a gala time over here and our speciality about our Madurga is that it is around more than 150 years old. So that time India was controlled by the Britishers and if you see uh, Ashur, uh, he is wearing boots, okay, and that's the speciality of our puja, because the concept is such that uh, since that time India's mind frame was that they wanted the Britishers to be out of India somehow to bring them under their control. So Madurga British uh, our Asura is being dominated by. Madurga. So that's a very interesting story as you hear and that's what Bengal's tradition, Bengal's culture and Bengal's heritage has, you know, uh, is, is, is a part of this Debari and uh, every, you know, everybody who are outside India, outside Bengal, they come during Durga Puja and this, uh, specifically this Debari, here the Durga Puja fever is already there and as you can see with a the difference where Ashur is an Englishman. The 